Hi everyone, back with a hummingbird update. Uh, so what we're going to do talk about here today is sealing the plexiglass to the fiberglass door frame here. So one of the things I've always been frustrated with, I know I'm not the only one out there, is it seems like no matter what we use to seal uh, the fiberglass to the plexiglass, they have different temperature coefficients. So they tend to crack over time. You end up with a little line crack. So I'm going to try this time with something different. They use some gray seam sealer, and we'll just try a real thin coat along there, and then hopefully that won't crack. So this is a multi-step, kind of a messy process, and once you start laying this down, you got to go fast. I've already done three doors, and Carol says you got to record it. So here we are. Uh, so the first step is to use 3M fine line tape, 1 8 inch wide, so we can make nice curves around the corners here on the door. And basically what you're going to do is lay this down, about one millimeter from the edge of the fiberglass. Okay, we're gonna go all the way around the door with this. Then we're gonna lay some blue tape on top of that. And then we're gonna lay some blue tape along the outside, then quickly lay down the seam sealer, get it with our finger and pull everything up. And the other three have come out nicely, so we'll see how this one does. Okay, so here we are now. We've got the 1 8 inch tape laid all the way around very nicely. And don't forget, when you get to one end, leave a tail of tape for yourself so you can get started pulling off. If you cut it off nice and flush, you'll never find it. Okay, so now we're going to lay down the blue tape just to give us some protection here. So the purpose of the blue painter's tape here is just to cover the gap between the paper on the plexiglass and the 1 8 inch fine line tape. Basically just using the blue tape to, you know, take up about half of the fine line tape there. And then it's not quite as easy to go around the corners. You just got to work it. The fine line tape goes around the corner very nicely just by pulling and stretching. So again, leave ourselves a tail here. And just in case, right there, we've got some glass showing, and we've got some glass showing right here. We're going to cover it. Okay, so now we're ready to start. Oh, yeah, there's a piece there, right, too, so we'll cover that, although I shouldn't get out there that far. Okay, now what we're going to do as well is put a piece of blue tape right flush with the edge of the fiberglass. It just makes laying the, the little fillet there much nicer. And doesn't get the seam sealant all over the fiberglass on the outside. So it's kind of tough to go around those inside turns with the blue tape. So what we're going to do is use the quarter inch fine line tape for those. We'll show you that in a second here once we get this on. Hold on. Looks good. All right. Okay, so here we're going to take some quarter inch fine line tape just to go around the edges here. My glasses, I can see a little better. All right. Good. So we'll do each four corners like that. Again, you pull on the tape as you're trying to go around the curve. It stretches and it lays down a nice straight line. Okay, the last step. Here we go. It's an automotive seam sealer made by Smart. Okay, it's gray. comes in colors. Uh, black you can get too, but we managed to get gray here because that's what they had in stock. All right, so I'm going to do a start here, and we got to go kind of fast. This stuff is actually ready to paint in 15 minutes according to the spec sheet.
So trying to lay a nice straight line, there are times when I get going, I go, whoa, why do I bother using my finger? And then you'll end up where you got to start or stop or squeeze or something with it not coming out exactly pretty. So that's why we'll go back, use our, my finger here, and then get the tape off real quick. All right, the seam sealer's on. This is the messy part. I tried using gloves, didn't work, so I'm just going to use my finger. All I'm going to do is wipe a real nice All right, it's about as artistic as I'm going to get, and that looks pretty good. Now, next step is already get the tape off. So we'll start with the outside here. So far laying a nice edge, looks good, no complaints. Okay, the outside came off very nicely, nice straight line. So now we're going to start with the blue tape on the inside. I can't believe the paper's tearing out too. Oh, it finally let go. Going. All right. Okay, if you look closely, you can see the green tape is still in there, and that's what's going to get pulled off next. So we'll go find our tail right here for the fine line tape. Good. Well, that came off nice, except for one corner here i got to fix. But no complaints. We'll get that fixed. And it looks like we got a good seal all the way around. Looks pretty good. What do you think? Looks good. Always have the inspector here. All right, let me see if I can work. Okay. So the nice thing is the seam sealant is paintable, just like Sikaflex, like we've used in the past. 
So uh, it should be ready to paint here. We'll prime these doors and then get a coat of color on them.